Alright, welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, we're going to basically figure out how to lay out our uh, content here, the aside and the, um, the section here. So uh, one thing you'll notice, there's not a whole lot of space in between the footer, uh, and I basically want this to be towards the bottom. So as we adjust these two, you'll notice the footer is going to do some weird things. And we'll have to uh, basically figure out how to deal with that in a sec. So uh, just warning you ahead of time, uh, this is going to be a little funky in the beginning. Now, uh, the assigned and the section are kind of generic names. So each of them needs a class or an ID to uh, basically modify them because there might be several asides and we want to be able to, you know, check them down differently. So I'm going to click in here and add a specific class. I'm going to call it a dot aside and then just left the word left I'm going to add to it because it's going to be on the left side and then just hit enter and enter again till I get uh, basically everything taken care of there now uh, then what I'm going to do is if I hit the up arrow I should have the aside left there we go so let's click in here hit the up arrow till I get to the section and the section again I'm going to click on it to add the class and it's going to be dot section and then I'm going to add uh, right after that and then hit enter and then enter until I get that set up. So those will automatically be as selectors over here. If I drag this out to give us the two column layout here, you'll see the section right here and then um, switch back to all. The uh, If I scroll down the section left and the side left and the section right here. So uh, what I'm going to do is basically uh, float them on the left and the right side and then give them percentages for uh, a width basically those are the two attributes really I'm going to mess with and a little bit of margins basically so the with the aside left selected here if we go to the layout here we're going to uh, first decide probably like 20 percent would be good for the the width instead of auto so again, percentages are great because they allow you to uh, work with responsive design. So as I drag this across to about 20 or so, you know, that'll probably be good. Um, and again, if you can't quite do the slider thing, you can just type in 20. Um, and then what I'm going to do is scroll down here below the, uh, the margin padding the, and the position. There's a float here, and I'm going to float it to the left by clicking this icon here. And you'll see it's kind of floated over here on the left. Um, then what I'm going to do is adjust the margins after I set up the right. So I'm going to click on the right section right here, and basically the width, I'm going to determine a percentage again. Click on the percent, and this one, I think about 40% should be pretty good. If I keep dragging it out, you'll start to see it grow to about... 40% uh, or so there and then if I scroll down here I'm going to float it to the right so it'll snap over to the right here so you can see now we've got separation between these two so now we just have to adjust the margins uh, and I'm going to scroll down here to the uh, with the aside right selected go to percent here and uh, basically I can scrub till it lines up with the uh, the top document here now this gray bar here is the footer, so ignore that. Uh, about 10% brings it in pretty nicely. Now uh, we'll fix the footer here in a sec. Let's click on the side left and on the margin switch to percent and again scrub inwards till it lines up with that um, the side here. And that looks pretty good. I mean it could be if we hit the up arrow we get to the aside let's scrub backwards it looks like it's going to be uh, let's see about 11 percent looks good yeah and so now let's take care of that footer so we're going to scroll to we find footer it should be back up here someplace here it is now the footer is way up too high and so that has to do with the top margin and what I can do is simply drag this value uh, till it gets way below everything else. If I scroll down a little bit, you'll start to see it as I drag it down further and further. And so it looks like 425 or so, it starts to look okay. 
if it goes up any higher it starts to have some issues so um, maybe around 450 it looks pretty good uh, so let's take a look at that let's go to the real-time preview here and take a look and we can see how now the right and the left are kind of laid out pretty nice then we have this footer down here so this looks pretty good now we could have some uh, separation between these two so we could have the top margin uh, maybe bring it down a little bit so that's something else we could kind of play around with let's see with the uh, if I scroll down to the side right we could again um, with this one we can leave pixels if we want to go to a certain point maybe 10 pixels uh, just to bring it down a little bit even it out and then um, actually we should yeah since we're doing responsive design we really should be in percents so let's bring it back up to maybe two percent or so that looks pretty good kind of centers it out may be able to get away with one but I'm gonna stick with two and see how that looks once I set the uh, left side to percent also so the left side this one could actually go down a little bit further. Uh, the art of could be a little bit further. And then uh, maybe the max width, maybe we could expand a little bit so I can have the art of James Kleckner there being spread out more. And then we could determine, you know, uh, how we want that text to be laid out, but 30% looks pretty good here, the art of James Kleckner. Of course, um, you know you can kind of have it as one whole line there the art of or we could have the art of James Kleckner I mean that looks pretty good actually around 20% is actually pretty good so uh, let's take one more quick look at the uh, the overall settings here now uh, the type size and everything is not right and the particular fonts so we're going to adjust that in another tutorial, but this is this is looking pretty good. We actually have a layout now that um, has possibilities. Um, you know, things are clearly legible. There's paragraphs here. Uh, there's actual navigation. It looks clean. We got our logo there. Um, but now I think the next step would be to add to adjust the text here, and um, you know maybe get some web fonts in here. So until next time, see you soon in Adobe Dreamiverse CC. Cheers.